Hi, I'm Doki Pen, and welcome to this tech art tutorial on clearing render targets. Now we need to figure out how to clear the render targets, as when we end up using this in our damage setup, when we hit play, we need to clear the texture from previous runs of the level. For now though, we'll stick to doing it in a blue utility, just for demonstration purposes. Create a new function, and this one I'll call clear RT. We need a node called clear render target 2D. It sounds like it'll do what we want. We'll hook up the execution pin to trigger the operation when the button is pushed. And on the clear node, specify which render target you want to clear, and also which color you want to clear it with. And now when we go back to the Blutility UI, we can see that there's another button that we've just created. Let's click it and check the texture and we can see that it has indeed been cleared with the solid color. And just to make this point clearer, we can redraw with an updated brush material and see that it's been drawn again. Now I want to demonstrate that we really can do most things that a normal material can do and draw it to a texture. And we can even sample another texture. So I'll create a texture sample node and I'll choose one of the textures from the starter content which is this T underscore explosion sub UV texture. This is a texture which has many frames of an animation laid out in a grid. And what I want to do is isolate one of these images with some UV manipulation and draw it out to an individual render target. We can see that there are six images in the rows and columns. So I'll start by multiplying the texture coordinates by one sixth to get them to cover just one tile. I'll need a constant 6, so hold the 1 key and click to create one, and set its value to 6. I'll need a texture coordinate node. Then I'll create a divide node, and plug 6 in as the divisor. This is effectively the same as 1 6 now. Then I'll do the multiply with the UVs and the 1 6. Now this will give us UVs that cover the top left tile but I want to choose any one of these others. So I'll use an add node to offset by whole tile increments. We'll take the 1 6th value and multiply it by some 2D integer offset, which will give us the overall offset in the original 0 to 1 UV space. 2 in X and 1 in Y will go across 2 and down 1. So multiply these together and plug it into the add offset. And now we have UVs which represent a different tile. Plug this into the texture sample node's UV slot, and here we have an isolated tile. We can now plug this directly into the emissive slot to have this be our new brush image that gets drawn into the texture. So apply and saved, and now if we draw this into the texture, then we should see this explosion image appear. We can even go back and change the 2D offset index to choose a different frame of the animation and redraw if we want. The difference here is that I want this to draw and be stored in a color. So I'll need to change the texture format to an RGB format. Let's just make sure everything is saved. And I'll stop the preview on the sample node. And actually while I'm here, I want to make sure that this image is centered. So I'll quickly add a float offset to move the UV slightly vertically. The reason for this is because I'm actually going to draw this texture and save out for use later in a different material. Now if I go and clear and draw this render target, we have our full frame centered explosion and we'll need to enable the green and blue channels on the preview to verify that is the case. To make this a permanent texture asset, we can now right click on the render target and choose the create static texture option. This will copy out the current state of the render target and bake it into a texture. Now we've done some of this prep work. In the next video, we can take a slightly different path and explore how we can detect the hit of a mesh surface in the world from the view of the player.